Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to draw a crate in two-point perspective by using an approximate method. Let's start. First off, we need to know a few basics and how to set up the paper. In perspective drawing, objects are drawn in such a way that what is closer is drawn bigger and what is further away is drawn smaller. This mimics the way that we see things in reality. In two-point perspective, as the name implies, we make use of two vanishing points to achieve this effect. The vanishing points are points at which an object becomes so small that it disappears. For beginner exercises, we usually draw these points at the far edges of the paper, although they can be drawn closer together or further apart as you advance. Call these points VP1 and VP2 for ease reference. It is important to note that the vanishing points are to be horizontally aligned to each other. The imaginary line connecting the two points is called the eye level or the horizon line. This line represents the level of the eyes of the person viewing the drawing and it is also always aligned with the horizon. One final thing we need before we start drawing is a starting point. This has to be horizontally somewhere in between the vanishing points and usually vertically below the eye level. Again, as beginners, for the first few exercises we will place it around this area here. Try not to place it exactly in the middle to make the drawing more interesting. This is all we need to do in preparation. If you are doing school exercises, your teacher may have prepared the paper for you in advance already. We will now see how to draw the specific crate shown in the diagram, with dimensions of 50 mm by 100 mm by 50 mm height. Let's do it step by step. In step 1, we draw three lines radiating out of the starting point. A horizontal line going to the left, a vertical line going up and another horizontal line going right. I like to call those lines the rulers. They are shown in green in this video, so they are easily distinguished. Step 2. Mark off the dimensions of the crate on the rulers. We mark off the 50 mm on the left, the 100 mm on the right ruler and the 50 mm of the height on the vertical one. In step 3, you need to find the midpoint of the two furthest dimensions you just marked off on the horizontal rulers, thus the 50 mm mark and the 100 mm mark. When you do find the midpoint, project it onto the eye level right away and call this MP for measuring point. Now let us slow down for a while here. This way of finding and using the measuring point is particular for the method that we are learning. It is important to note that this is an approximate method and you need to check with your teacher as a more precise and more complex method may be required in your institution or at your study level. We are almost there. Step 4 is where it all starts coming together. Here, you draw two faint lines going from the starting point to the two vanishing points. Those lines represent the base of our crate. In step 5, you draw lines from the 50 mm and the 100 mm marks towards the measuring point. Do not go all the way though, but rather stop at the base lines we have just drawn. In doing so, we have projected the two dimension marks to the base of the box. The dimensions have automatically been shortened to represent the fact that as the length of the crate goes further away, it starts getting smaller and smaller. Notice that in contrast, the vertical dimension remains as it is, and we do not need to do anything to it. In step 6, we draw lines from our dimension marks towards VP1, towards VP2, 
and vertically as shown. Finally, in step 7, we close off the top of the crate by drawing two last lines towards the vanishing points as shown. Make the crate bold so it is more visible and you're done. Please be aware that even if drawing crates may not be as exciting as drawing a more complex object, it is necessary to be able to confidently draw crates before you advance. So it is recommended that you take your time and draw a few crates before moving on. That is all for this video, thanks for watching and good luck with your drawing.